I am the beautiful vegan messiah. Oh boy. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're looking at this weirdo on Dr. Phil. Now, I think everyone and their grandmother has probably seen this guy at some point when it comes to the world of YouTube. Everyone who's seen Dr. Phil before has probably heard of Sexy Vegan. So this dude, as you've probably already seen, is a complete and total idiot. Uh, he's just a complete and total nightmare. So I'm happy to say that I'm making a video on this dip. But before we do get into this video, I just wanted to remind you guys that only 15% of you guys watching the videos are subscribed to my channel. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, I would very much appreciate it. My name is Sexy Vegan. I got my name legally changed to Sexy Vegan. Hans no longer fits me. When people see the tattoos, they're shocked. I'm a strict vegan. I once was down to 1.3% body fat. The beautiful vegan messiah. When I go out, everyone stares at me because I wear a Speedo-esque outfit and I'm exotic like a Lamborghini SV. Oh my holy Justin Bieber, this cannot be real. So this dude legally changed his name to Sexy Vegan, got tattoos that say Sexy Vegan, wears a Speedo everywhere, and is exactly like a Lamborghini SV. I'm exotic like a Lamborghini SV. I like how they have to add a picture and a horn with it too, just to emphasize how exotic this guy thinks he is. Like, putting the beeping car in there was not really necessary, but it just makes it all more comical. I love walking around in my Speedos because putting clothes on is like putting a tarp over a Lamborghini, which makes no sense, and I get for that all the time. I really don't know what this dude's deal is with Lamborghinis. Like, he keeps comparing himself to a Lamborghini and trying to justify why he shouldn't wear clothes. Like, dude, you're out here in the middle of a sidewalk, dancing like a f***ing robot, wearing a Speedo, and you're saying that you're exotic? Like, no. You're probably some 28-year-old high school dropout who just moved out of his mom's house, and this is the result. Uh, Jesus, pick up a hobby or something. Do something other than dance in a f***ing Speedo in the middle of Beverly Hills. I get kicked out of so many stores. I've been arrested 15 times. This last summer I was arrested for a criminal threat. I'd end up doing six months for that. My mom has spent over $80,000 on legal fees. Holy sh**, dude, 15 times? You think you might learn your lesson after you know you've been arrested once, but obviously that isn't the case for you. Clearly there's a problem. Uh, I'm not sure where the disconnection is in your ability to understand that what you're doing is weird, but wherever this guy is now, I hope he's looking back on this and has stopped whatever he's doing. Hopefully he hasn't been arrested again, am I right? I'm drop-dead gorgeous and a great singer-dancer. I can make it on my talents. I have several YouTube videos. I've been kicked off a YouTube channel. I got terminated for over-sexual strikes. What? What the f*** was that? Uh, that, that's, that's all I have to say. What the f*** was that? My main problem is my mom. She does not believe in me. She's very pessimistic. She always sees the negative. She's sadistic at times. My mom wants me to conform to society and be normal. Working nine to five and wearing a suit, and that's just not me. Okay, see, that's where you're wrong, Mr. Vegan. Uh, am, am I supposed to call you that, or am I supposed to call you sexy vegan? See, you just talked about how your mom spent over $80,000 on you for legal fees, but then you're saying that your mom sees the negative in everything? I mean, something isn't adding up here. Like, I'm not connecting all the dots. Uh, this isn't really making any sense. Okay, uh, you consider his behavior now to be outrageous. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, God, here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Phil. Okay, and you said you're an enabler, but you can't help it. Yeah. Why are we here then? What, what, do, you, what do you want me to do? You want me to help it? What, what do you want me to do? I would like him to get help. So if that happens, and then you have an enabling mother that unravels all of that, what's the point in helping him? Because if, if I was working with him, if I were to help him, the first thing I would do would be to start holding him accountable, which means... Listen, everybody's different. Different strokes for different folks. I swear to God, every single thing this man says is correct. I, I don't even think it's possible for Dr. Phil to be wrong, like, ever. They say everyone makes mistakes. Well, not Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil is out here defying all of the odds. He's eliminating everyone in his way and just defying all of the opposition out here. Uh, this man is a f***ing legend. Mm -hmm. if, if you want to put on a Speedo and moonwalk around Beverly Hills, <laughs> and you can afford to do that, and it makes you happy, Knock yourself out. Right. Seriously. Different strokes for different folks. If you can afford it, do it. But the problem is he can't, but you make it possible. So if I got involved and held him accountable, no matter what I said or did, you would come in and undo it. No. Well, you said, I enable him and I can't help it. 
Well, I'm going to try to help it because I can't keep this up. Well, I work with triers. I work with doers. Oh, my God. He just destroyed this lady. Holy sh**. Dr. Phil, don't you think you should go easy on this woman? I, I mean, she just got here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to doubt the king, Dr. Phil. I, he doesn't make mistakes, but holy balls, he just eliminated that woman. People lie and say I'm grotesquely ugly, and so I'll carry on the mirror with me, so I'll look and see that I am drop dead gorgeous. My image is very important to me. I look at my collection of mirrors all the time to study myself and my beauty. When I dance in front of the mirror, I can create a really striking image. Skinny with a big butt. I got junk in my trunk, but I'm keeping it. Oh my f***ing god. What in the actual f*** am I watching? I got junk in my trunk, but I'm keeping it. I, I'm sorry you all had to see that. So so this dude is in love with himself so much that he brings a mirror around everywhere and examines himself wherever the hell he wants. Uh, he just has a collection of mirrors that he just shakes his ass in front of. Um, uh, that's, 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 that's about it. The mirrors go with me wherever I go because I want to know what I look like. I hang out where the celebrities go and with my mirror and party. People say that I'm narcissistic because I carry on a mirror wherever I go. But I don't care because I'm not, because I have empathy. Uh, Mr. Vegan, you are the exact definition of a narcissistic piece of shit. You carry around a mirror wherever you go because you admire yourself so much, and just because you have empathy for animals doesn't justify your continuous narcissism. Oh my god, can someone please help this dude? D Dr. Phil, get this man some help for the love of god. I am the beautiful vegan messiah. You get you that water, okay? It's a song. I didn't say I was, and she knows it. I was just like my dad, okay? Ten luxury cars. My dad told me I had the same name as him until I legally changed it. My mom did not bail me out of jail when she knew I was innocent. I'm liberating over 70 billion pigs in cages so small they cannot move for years, okay? I work. My mom's a sociopathic piece of I have the highest score in Hot or Not history. I got 9.9 .9 out of 10 after 327 women raided me. Let's see your talent! Okay, what the f*** is this guy saying at this point? He's just spitting out random bullshit and trying to act cool on Dr. Phil. Like, like, bro, we don't give a shit about your hot or not score or whether or not you can moonwalk or, I mean, for real. Everyone is just out here watching you make a fool out of yourself. Let's see your f talent, you ugly piece of f Okay, stop. Hey, hey, look at me. Let's look see at your me. talent. No, huh? hey, hey, hey. No, you need to look at me. I don't have to do f Okay, take okay. him out. Security, get him out of here. Thank God. Thank God. No. You're not going to come out of here and use that kind of language in front of my audience. And audience, I apologize. That is childish awesome. and immature behavior. And uh, Now I get to leave. Yes, you do. No. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Oh my God, Phil. You just completely decimated this man. Dr. Phil just annihilated this guy's pure existence with his words. Holy sh**. We, got, we gotta call somebody. Somebody call Guinness. Somebody call Guinness World Records and get this guy a record for the best insult of all time. Dr. Phil, I swear to God, he holds the record now. Okay. That's, um, that's your first lesson in accountability. He does not come out here and behave in a disrespectful way. He does not come out here and insult this audience. That's exactly what he's done in the lobby of two or three apartment buildings that he's been in, that they've called the police, that they've evicted him from, arrested him. He's gotten in women's faces yelling and screaming and threatening them. It, it's just that behavior right there. And you want to know what that behavior, how I would describe that behavior? Childish. It's very entitled. And it's very entitled mm -hmm. and it's very childish. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's immature. You know, one of the things about maturity is we learn that you don't just get to do what you want to do, you do things that you need to do. Then you do things you want to do. I wanted to come talk to you because you seem like a very nice lady that's getting taken advantage of. So I'm here because I want to be to talk to you and I don't want you to continue to be taken advantage of by this young man. I want you to love him, I want you to nurture him, and I want you to continue to support constructive behavior on his part. If you think that he is a danger to himself or others, then I want you to do what is called 
a 5150 where you can call a mobile psychiatric unit and you can have him picked up and put into a psychiatric hold where he's evaluated and they can determine if he's a danger to himself or others. Uh, this man is a goddamn genius. I, I think we need to build a statue to honor this man. Uh, I swear, if the Greeks or the Romans had a time machine, they would just travel into the future, see Dr. Phil, and then next thing you know, a present day, you're seeing Dr. Phil in your history books as a statue. This guy is a genius. This guy is a legend. I mean, uh, he just he's up there with Einstein and all the other geniuses because, you know, he just, he just tops them. He just knows it all. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video where we looked at Sexy Vegan. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to slap a like on the video just make sure to slap a like on the video in general for my boy dr phil make sure to leave a comment let me know if you guys want to see more dr phil videos and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the content thanks for watching